Hello FPL managers and welcome back for another video. My name's Jack and today we're going over the best value FPL options for game week one of the new season. If you guys are new to the channel or are looking forward to the launch or the start of the new Premier League season, leave a like and subscribe. Also, have those notification bells turned on as well so you don't miss any future FPO videos in the build up to game week one. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So let's have a look at the first batch of value plays that I really like for Game Week 1 squads. The first option here is Bruno Fernandes. He's seen a massive price drop down to 8.5 million pounds, way cheaper than what he's been at in previous seasons. I think he could be a really, really good pick now in that Manchester United midfield. And he's actually currently in my Game Week 1 draft. I've got him in there over Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford at 9 mil, obviously half a mil more expensive than Fernandes. But I think now that Fernandes is cheaper than Rashford and has penalties, set pieces, and some free kicks as well. I think he could be such a good Manchester United asset. Fernandez, he's shown in the past that he has excellent point scoring potential. Scored 244 points a couple of seasons ago, which was his best FPL campaign, compared to Marcus Rashford's 205 points, which was his best FPL campaign last season. I think Fernandez, with those penalties, does have a higher FPL point ceiling. He should have had so many more points last season as well. Still scored 176 points, which is definitely a very good output. But his XA of 15.62 was the highest out of any player in the Premier League last season. Even two uh, XA better than Kevin De Bruyne, who is typically the best assister or one of the best assisters in the world. So to see these underlying numbers for Fernandez gives me a lot of confidence that he can carry on some great form from last season into next season as well potentially score over 200 points this year and now since he's cheaper than Marcus Rashford obviously a superb value option eight goals and nine assists last season very unlucky not to have more FPL points considering that his expected assist figure was over six higher than his actual assist output so I think Fernandez had he just got more assists last season like he was expected to do so well, would be a player that a lot more people are looking at but he's only got a 23% ownership compared to Marcus Rashford whose ownership is nearly double it's about uh, nearly 40% Marcus Rashford right now. So I think looking at Fernandez maybe instead of 8.5 mil could be a smart move. Even if you do have Marcus Rashford in the teams, Bruno Fernandez at 8.5 mil I think is exceptional value. Moving on to another midfielder, James Madison at 7.5 million pounds I think is an excellent pick in that Spurs midfield. Everyone and their dog had him at 8.5 million pounds. To see him at 7.5 million is such a good price tag in terms of being a good FPL option. Just a 19% ownership right now, so not quite as high as some of those other popular midfielders like Saka, Rashford, Batoma. But I think Madison at £7.5 million, pounds, it's a great price for him. We've seen how good Spurs uh, cams can be in the past. Christian Eriksen was so, so good for them in his prime at Tottenham, averaging around 180 FPL points a season. I wouldn't be surprised if Madison can uh, replicate these similar type of numbers. He's got Son and Kane up top this year, a more attacking manager. I think he's going to suit this Spurs team perfectly. He's going to be on free kicks as well, I would suspect, which can give him those extra point sources as well. He should be on some corners, I think, James Madison. So he's definitely got great uh, points scoring potential. Spurs starting fixtures are fairly strong. He's going to be looking to build on those 10 goals and 9 assists last season. Still a pretty good goals and assists output, but it was in a Leicester side that struggled significantly last year. Now that he's at Spurs, he's got even better attackers around him to give service to. I wouldn't be surprised if he can notch up a 15 assist season this year at Tottenham. I think he's going to be a breakout signing for them. This is the exact perfect player that Tottenham needed. I think he could have an excellent season. I wouldn't be surprised if he scores over 200 points this year. I've got him booked in for at least 180 points. That's my call on James Madison. And to see him at seven and a half million pounds, I think that is exceptional value for him. And Ferguson as well, I really like him at six million pounds. I thought he was going to be at 6.5, but seeing him start 10 games last season and have eight goal contributions gives me a lot of confidence that with a bit more experience in this new season, he could become a very reliable goal source up top for Brighton. Obviously a very young player, he's got lots of improving to do, and I'm sure with more games under his belt, he's just gonna go from strength to strength. Looks so, so good already. I think he's just uh, an option that's I've probably not quite been looked at as much as other forward picks, and Kunku's a popular option. Jesus, obviously, a popular option, but Ferguson at 6 mil, a little bit cheaper, could be a very nice pick. Brighton have some superb fixtures to start the new season. Luton at home in game week one, plus 
plus some excellent uh, fixtures from Gamix 1 through about 6. I think he could be a good forward to go for. A lot of people are only running a 2 forward formation, but if you have a 4.5 forward as your, as your third slot, it could be worthwhile considering upgrading to Evan Ferguson at 6 million pounds. I think he's going to have a breakout season for Brighton as well. And considering that he scored uh, 8 or had 8 score involvements for 10 starts last season, if he gets given more starts this year, which I assume he will, I'm sure he's going to continue to capitalize. He's a good finisher, so I like Ferguson for those reasons. Such a cheap price for me. I think 6.5 to 7 could have been a fair price for Ferguson. Seeing Mitro at 7.5, I think Ferguson is such a better pick there at around that 6 uh, to 7.5 more price point. I think Ferguson is one of my favorite options, so I think he is a very, very good Brighton asset that is potentially not as much talked about and definitely not as highly owned as some of those other popular attacking options. Continuing with the trend of more Brighton players, Kaoru Matoma looks to be a great price this season. I was expecting him to be the most expensive Brighton midfielder between him, March, and Pascal Gross, but all three are coming in at 6.5 million pounds, and Matoma being the player that had the best underlying numbers out of the three last season, he has to be on my list of best value players this season. There's a reason why that he's got a nearly 40% ownership so far uh, since the release of the game. He's clearly a very, very popular option at that price point. Very good underlying numbers per 90. He had a 0.6 goals and assists per 90 last season. A very similar expected uh, set of numbers per 90 as well. So I think he's going to be a really nice addition to a lot of FPL squads. Seven goals and nine assists. And with Brighton's fixtures to start the new season, I think he's going to be a great midfield option. He doesn't cost you too much money, so you can have a lot of other stack midfielders in your team with Matoma in there. Had 138 points last season with just a handful of minutes compared to some of those other midfield picks. So I think Matoma is going to be a very, very nice value option. And I'd expect his price to rise quite a bit across the span of the season. Purvis Estupian as well, another Brighton player who I think is a little bit underpriced. I thought he would have been a good price at 5.5. Seeing him at 5 million pounds has consequently made him the second highest owned player so far in FPL, only behind Erling Haaland. He's got over a 50% ownership, Purvis Estupian, and massively popular pick. 10 clean sheets and 7 assists last season. Had over a 10 expected clean sheets as well. He ranked amongst the top 5 defenders for attempted assists, actual assists, and expected assists as well. So he's got some really, really good creativity, added a goal late in the season as well against Arsenal, he's making a lot of great runs forward from open play, he's got really, really good positioning, so as far as attacking defenders go, I think Estupian is one of the best players in the Premier League, and to see him at £5 million with these Brighton fixtures coming up to start the season, I think he is a superb value option for a lot of FPL squads, obviously over 50% of people already have him in, so if you are part of the 50% that don't are currently own purpose of Estupian, I would definitely encourage you to do so, such a good value pick at £5 million, he can definitely compete with some of those 7 or 6.5 mil defenders in terms of FPL points, I think he can match a lot of those really, really premium options at the back. And to round out the best value players list, Gabby Jesus, I like him a lot at £8 million. Currently the second highest owned forward in FPL. Christopher Nkunku, not too far behind him. I think he's also decent value at 7.5. But I'm more interested to see how Jesus goes. He's been proven in the Premier League in previous seasons. He was really good in his first season at Arsenal. 11 goals and 7 assists. His expected goals per 90 was the highest out of any of his Arsenal teammates, as well as his shots per 90 as well, so he is obviously their main goal scoring threat when he is playing. Didn't see as many minutes as he would have liked last season due to injury, but I think he's going to be superb this year. 18 goal contributions last season with 11 goals and 7 assists. Arsenal starting fixtures are really, really good. Forrest at home in game week 1. An excellent chance for Jesus to get his season underway in terms of goal scoring. Made a great start to the campaign at the start of last year as well, so I think he is a really, really good option at £8 million. Considering that you can get him cheaper than Ma uh, than Odegaard and at the same price as Martinelli and I think Jesus will uh, significantly outscore those guys when he does play it just means he's such a nice value pick I think Saka my favorite Arsenal midfielder at 8.5 Jesus probably my second favorite Arsenal option in terms of FPL I think he is a better pick than Odegaard and Martinelli this season assuming that he can stay fit for the whole year uh, if he did keep on tracking how many points he was scoring per game, he would have scored nearly 200 points uh, last season if you took his average of points per game and you multiplied it out across the 38 fixtures. It's very, very good numbers for a player of £8 million. If he scored nearly 200 points, which he was projected to do, uh, projected to do had he continued to score his average, he would have been uh, the forward with the best uh, points per million ratio. So in terms of uh, value for money and, and FPL point scoring, he would have scored the best for forward. So I think Jesus 
a very, very nice pick here at £8 million. A generous price for him, especially considering how good he was when he was playing for Arsenal last season. Thanks for watching today's best value players for game week one of the new FPL year. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you're excited for the new season or are new to the channel, leave a like and subscribe. I also want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. What you thought of these value players? Is there any other one that's caught your eye right now based on their, uh, their price point? If you like a couple of options, let me know in the comments down below. As always, have those notification bells turned on so you don't miss any future FPL videos in the build-up to game week one. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.